Listen up, Raiders, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve, and today we're going to go over my collection. That's also in other rooms, but we're going we're gonna to start my office, which is downstairs in my basement. There's been quite a few of you guys that have been asking me to see a new updated tour of my collection, so I figured I'd get that done for you guys today. And with the new house and the new setup, a lot of the stuff is out, and there's also a lot of new figures. Uh, the only thing you guys won't really see is, like, my Transformers. A lot of those are still boxed up because I don't have anything to really put them on right now. Then I just might be selling quite a few of them in the near future, so I'm just not sure which ones I really want to have on and which ones I want to keep. Figure I will go over my setup I have down here, uh, my dining room, which has most of my anime stuff, and a living room, which is all the kaiju memorabilia. So uh, I guess we'll start with uh, my review table so you guys can get a little scope of how I do my videos, and then the rest of it will just be figures all the time. All right, so over here is... Uh, <laughs> my little review nook which is pretty much just a couple of cloths you got the cloth here for the table i got two little umbrellas here with the lights so when you flick these bad boys on that pretty much is what gets me my lighting for my action figures and then the camera i use is a power shot sx 530hs a canon which uh isn't the most expensive canon you can get but for what i do it serves its purpose very very well i used to actually use a camcorder kind of like this one this one's a little bit more of a newer updated one than the one i was using previously but that one worked too and a couple of the figures just chilling on the table right now are the ultra Act x sh figure arts ultraman figures with the my newest one the ultraman ace which i'm hoping to get a review done soon and then some of the mangas and stuff over there for references for the photos and then we'll just start here with all my power ranger collectibles which uh that's like the original tour the shuttle zord uh, most of these are the new Legacy Collection figures right here, except for a couple of the older, uh, whoops, <laughs> the older Power Ranger monsters. You got the White Ranger. There's actually a White Tiger Zord in the box in the back. Same with back here. You got a original Megazord chilling behind my original uh, Red Dragon Zord too, which still got that guy in the box. Though, to my understanding, he's missing a couple of pieces, but yeah, whatever. And a couple more of the legacy stuff. Original Red Ranger sitting in the package with it. And my random Beetleborg. Huh. Go figure. Uh, next down here, we got pretty much all legacy collection stuff. With, like, Titanus. You got the original legacy Megazord. My Morpher that's actually autographed by a few people with uh, Johnny Unbach and Tony Oliver. And that one is sitting in the box right now, but that I actually have autographed by the... Uh, Excellent Japanese actor. I forget his name, but it's the same guy that was in Godzilla Tokyo SOS. And then more Power Ranger stuff sitting in the back. With some Morphers still sitting in the box. My giant Red Ranger helmet that is wearable. And then moving down here. More Legacy Collection stuff with uh, one of the newer resorts from Dino Charge. Same with down here. Uh, friend Travis picked up the little set that had both of these guys in it. But then the Legacy Blade Blaster. The new Morpher, Saba, sitting in the back. Finally got my hands on a communicator recently. So, pretty much the majority of the cosplay for the Red Ranger. I'm actually waiting for the sword to come out. And then just, uh, gotta lose weight. Next shelf is pretty much all my alien figures. With, uh, the power loader that I still never reviewed. Same with, uh, Vasquez. The Ripley Newt in the box, but the Newt's kind of garbage, so, Yeah. Um, and my queen alien and the creature accessory pack. Here is all of the AVP figures, uh, which I actually got these ones, ex well, those two, actually straight from NECA to do reviews of, which was super cool. And that's actually my newest one there with the Elder Predator. Down here is more of the like alien isolation aliens, dog alien, a couple I still got in the packaging. The new uh, Ultimate City Hunter Predator, which probably not going to do a review because he came damaged out of the box. So I just haven't really felt like it because uh, I have to still fully fix his little wrist pad on his arm because one of the little arms kind of snapped on it. But back here, got a couple of the prototype alien figures I haven't opened up yet. Just haven't got around to doing their videos. And I kind of like just the way they look inside the box. Down here's all the Kenner Alien and Predator figures with some actual vintage ones sitting in the background here. We have the Alien and Predator 2 pack. Got Mr. Goodall, the original Mantis Alien there. The original Elder Predator. 
chilling in the back here. And then all the new NECA ones, except for that guy, he's a little bit older one. I finally replaced my spike tail predator, so I got a brand new one in the box. Down here, some more of the vintage ones with like the queen in the package. Got a uh, queen face hugger chilling right there. Apex does not like the standby, so with the flying queen, my little manis, Ripley, and a uh, lint roller for my review table. On this side, it's pretty much just all the Pacific Rim Jaegers on this shelf with knife head. Uh, sadly, most of these guys are actually damaged in some shape or form now, except for some of the more original ones. But like, this guy likes to nosedive on my shelf. As you can see, I got a stand on him now, so like, his foot likes to pop off periodically. Pretty much it's all feet, <laughs> for the most part, for these guys, except for like, Eternal Gypsy, Striker, and Crimson Typhoon are perfectly fine. Those figures are awesome, and I still love my gigantic ones. Probably my favorite ones out of these ones here. And then we have all the Pacific Rim Kaijus. Uh, the only one I don't have out right now is Hard Shit. It's currently still sitting in a box in a closet, and I have to still get him out to display. But God, those Otachis and the are still flipping awesome. Down here, more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Which I uh, don't own quite that many. Uh, most of these are like the Playmates Classic Collections. Got a couple of the newer figures because I just really love Karai. I always thought she was a cool character. Some of the WWE Turtles and a little April Pop just chilling in the back. Some of the new movie figures which are all pretty much piled in I think because figures are okay. Cool for kids. It's usually what they're here for when I got kids over. That's generally what they play with. And an original uh, turtle van there. Well, not the original, the reissue, but still in the box, you can get me. Then one of the only Godzilla things down here is my giant uh, handmade Mecha Godzilla that we got at G-Fest, not last year, but the year before. Uh, somebody made it, gave it away in a raffle, and we ended up getting it off the person that wanted it in the raffle because they uh, couldn't take it back with them on the train. So it ended up at our house and used it for a little display here. And the NECA 16 and a half inch Donatello. And then all my little Godzilla plushies and alien plushies. It's kind of littered throughout here. Have the Shin Godzilla plushie that just came out a little while ago. That horrible limited edition Toy, uh, Toynami 1989 Godzilla. Because I'm still 100% sure it's supposed to be 2014. And just, there's my little couch that we do the reviews on. Uh, here is our little Five Nights at Freddy's display that we have going on here. Next to all that stuff with the Funko figures, uh, some of the pops in the background, some masks I got clearance at Walmart. All the plushies kind of just piled onto one shelf. We're still missing Nightmare Bonnie Sally, but have everybody else sitting there. And then the McFarlane construction sets. Which, uh... I kind of hope they put some more of those out sometime in the near future. Now we got my desk, which is super cluttered right now. Well, we got my little Funko Baby Metal Pops, some of the plushies of the Mr. Cupcake. Random little claptrap. Does not like to sit on a stand, so he's just been kind of chilling there for now. Um, I actually be selling these Gypsy Dangers pretty soon. It's kind of why I have them all separated, and he's just, he was down here for skits and just never made it back upstairs. This show got some more alien figures, but these ones are the McFarlane ones with a Glob, Starship Troopers, Arachnid. Still one of my favorite figures I own. And it's just some more random stuff with some Halo McFarlane figures. Up here is all my Dead Space stuff, which is one of my favorite video games ever, because I love horror video games, just like horror movies in general, and this little series is just perfect for me. And then I played uh, Dead Space 3 with Arnez. And that was one of the funnest experiences, so I'm glad I got that figure, though I kind of wish they would... Uh, Release more NECA Dead Space figures or even some of the other Necromorphs, that would have been really cool. Got the Dev Team Edition for Dead Space 3, which they only made about 5,000 of those, and I was one of the last ones to get one from the numbers. All my NECA Godzilla figures, because for the most part, you kind of notice a trend down here, is pretty much all this stuff is all American. It's all like my NECA figures and Bandai America stuff and whatnot. It's, just, it's the general theme down here anyways. But, you know, I just got some boxes there for stuff I gotta review pretty soon. One of Arnez's newer figures. And that's pretty much it for down here. So next, uh, I guess we'll go check out the dining room. Alright, next for the dining room, we have... Uh, what's my little anime corner here? Which, on the top, we have the Devil to Bene Mia. Uh, that's actually a bootleg, Chris, but it still looks pretty good. Overall, I was pretty happy with the 
15-ish dollars I spent on that thing. And then the Kotobukiya Edward Scissors hands, some of those Shigoku Nevas that were a little bit on the disappointing side, but whatever. And then the Revoltex Stitch. Crap ton of manga. <laughs> Quite a bit down there. I'll get that case in a second. But on the top section here, we have my G Gundam figures, the new Voltron, which uh, you need all five figures to make the giant Voltron there in the back. So the Shigokin Big O, which is actually much better Shigokin than the ones over yonder. We have the uh, Toy Fair exclusive Shining Gundam there in the back. Then, much more anime, but got some Dragon Ball Z figures there. The Figma Yugi, which will have the uh, Dark Magician Girl here showing up here not too long. Now on the bottom here, some uh, Ryoki and Kak. Oh, what the heck's the other one's name? And then for the middle shelf, we have on the top here is some of the Godzilla vs. Evangelion figures with some of the Sega, Ray and Asuka's. The X Plus Ava Unit 1 G Awakening figure. And my uh, Kotobuki uh, Burning Evangelion model. Then starting in the cases, which I'll actually open up so you don't get the giant glaring reflection here. Uh, but we have the Figma Puella Magi Madoka Magica figures, which got quite a few of them now. Really like that Sayaka in the back. Uh, she turned out a lot better than I thought she would. Because initially when I got her out of the case, she has that cloth cape, but the plastic one looks so freaking good on her. And the mommy in the back, got Kyoko, Amora, some of the casual outfits. Madoka, which is probably the least impressive out of the bunch that's in here. Next shelf is the Sailor Moon figures, which we have the entire team and a Super Moon in the back. Also, an old figure that my friend Harold gave me, chilling back there. They don't like the stand. It's got some uh, dead keys on my shelf, I guess. Our next one's more of the side characters from Sailor Moon, which uh, pretty much have almost all of them sitting. Well, all the ones that they've released. The only thing I don't really have is the Imposter Moon, Sailor V, and the original colored version. Right now, that's released. Then we got the Kill a Kill figures and Giver Figma figures with Giver 2. And the regular Giver figure with uh, Satsuki in the back and Ryuko. And the Good Smiles Ryuko Matoi statue, which is still gorgeous. And my lonely little Asuka Figma sitting on the bottom here that I still got to get back out of the packaging. And then over here is kind of where uh, I have my Transformers sitting right now on the other side of the dining room. Because you can see right here is my kitchen table. But, got my Transformers sitting out here, gotta get some more shelving out so I can uh, get the rest of these guys out. But on the top here we have the new Devastator figure. I think a lot of these are some of the more newer Transformer figures with RC there. We got the new Titan Returns Blaster. Got a Generation Springer. And starting on the... Uh, can't really open the door if I got this giant Metroplex that's still in the box right now. I gotta get him back out. He's one of the reasons I gotta get more shelving and then my Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee. But just to again, open this up so you don't get a giant glare. Well, we have my Masterpiece Transformers with a lot of the Autobots on this shelf and random Generations Jetfire in the background. Got Starscream, Soundwave, uh, waiting for my Megatron to show up. He should be coming in fairly soon. And pretty much majority of these are all the Hasbro ones. And the majority of these are the Hasbro versions stuff for Ironhide, tracks and wheeljack and prowl everybody else is hasbros now this shelf is majority of my g1 figures here which you guys would have saw in the previous video not much has really changed here but we got the original trypticon the transformers carrying case in the background got shockwave megatron soundwave sitting back there the insecticons down here is all my autobots with metroplex all the dinobots and a Random G2 uh, slag, I believe. And we got Jetfire, my original Optimus, and Jazz. And Bumblebee and Clip Jumper just kind of chilling there. On the bottom here, we just have some of the Combiner Transformers with uh, Hot Rod, Cup, and a few of the other guys there with Warpath as well. My Ultra Magnus still in the packaging, which uh, my wife got me for a wedding gift, and I love that figure to death. And Skylinks. Which actually works. 
the uh, mechanism is he actually can walk. Top of the next cabinet, we got the movie Bumblebee helmet and some Transformers Prime and the giant Beast Hunter Optimus on the top section there. With some random uh, first edition Transformers chilling there as well. This show is a little bit harder to show off everything because of uh, I had to turn off the lighting so there isn't that giant glare in the back. But most of this shelf on the top here is all War and Fall for Cybertron figures, which love those games. So it's the main reason why I picked up a lot of these guys. Next shelf is Transformers Prime figures, with uh, also owning the majority of the set for these. One of the only real key figures that I'm missing right now is uh, Breakdown. I do not have Breakdown, sadly. But I do have a Silas, which is chilling right in the back there. And then more Transformers figures on the inside here, all of them being from Prime. And also got the first edition Optimus in the background. And Skyquake, who is also a pretty hard figure for me to get a hold of. Now the bottom here, just a bunch of random guys. And a few uh, more of the War for Cybertron figures just kind of littered out throughout there. And on the bottom here is a lot of my Movieverse figures. With uh, the original Megatron from the first movie. Got some of the newer ones there. And on the bottom, we got a bunch of my Optimus Primes. And got a uh, Godzilla shower curtain just kind of chilling in my bathroom right now. This is the Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla poster. And then finally we have the living room. Which has pretty much all of my giant monster kaiju related stuff. But up here, got some of my artist prints. With some from Matt Frank, some John Belgatis, and quite a few others. But I got these this year at G-Fest and I love these ones. We actually, uh... In the review for Shin Godzilla, I actually recreated this one using the pic, the, using the actual action figures. A few other ones up there. And then, with my lights, some of the uh, the diamond vinyl banks, a few other random figures. My Godzilla mask from the '64, and some random little Bandai still actually on the cards. Uh, <laughs> yeah, giant 2000 or uh, Godzilla Final Wars blanket my mom got me. And then. Some Godzilla pillows for our little couch here with our my little Ultraman I found at Yomokan. Some random posters. I actually got some kind of chill on the floor because I don't know what to exactly do with them. Uh, that one's actually signed by Robert Scott, which is why that one's up. That one's sadly the better quality, but it's just kind of chilling on the floor right now. I got some another poster over there. Uh, up here though, I guess we'll start here. Is all the and uh, vinyls, except for the giant Treadmaster up there. I didn't really have uh, much room to put them with the other uh, 98 Godzillas. But, got quite a few of the Bandai vinyls, my uh, 2004 Sound of DX Godzilla, and a couple of Medicoms sitting up there as well. And my little bootleg 85. And it's either the case, it's got a bunch more vinyls just kind of lying around in here. A couple of the Little Takara Tommy cars still in the boxes. A few more finals sitting there in the back. It's pretty much each shelf is just stuff I've collected over the years out of all of these little vinyls. Which are probably uh, my personal favorite ones to randomly collect. Uh, when I go to G-Fest, these are usually the ones I kind of keep an eye out for a little bit more because I try to grab a few of them a year. And on top of my entertainment center is all of the X pluses with the new Biolante that I just acquired. Sorry it's a little dark in here, but uh, I don't got an actual ceiling light in here, so it's all kind of what I got laying around the floor. The Gigantic 62. On the side here, we got the little bear model just chilling on the top there. Some of my DVDs and Blu-rays. I got a crap ton more just hiding in the under section here. My uh, toy chest that my mom actually made for me has a uh, some of the extra Godzilla comics we had, she plastered onto those. And on the insides of here, I guess we can start with here, is a lot of my SH Figure Arts, Ultra Axe, and Monster Arts figures. With the Gamera Legion, got a Batcher chilling in the back there with the Larvas, Mothra. Down here is some Ultraman Orb stuff with uh, the Revolta Gamera chilling in the back. 
some big bad Beetleborgs, or some of you guys might know as B Fighter. Down here is my Ultraman figures with uh, some Ultramax. Got the signed one chilling there on the back. Uh, the manga ones are supposed to be right here, but as you've seen, they were downstairs right now. Top of my VHS player, we have some of my Treadmasters. Got a few of the Gameras. I used to actually have a Gamera, but uh, my Husky decided that it needed to be no more that we had. And my TV with a couple of the more little guys with some of the smaller NECA ones. And some of the finger puppets. Center case is some of my more larger SC Monsters figures with uh, King Ghidorah, Biolante, Standard Ghidorah with the Godzilla Bank, a couple of Rebirth of Mothra figures that I got from Rich Iso. Uh, my little Polaris that's actually autographed, some game stuff, just random things is chilling in the back here. This one's more Monster Arts figures. But you guys pretty much have seen the majority of these on our Super Unimportant Reviews channel. Just kind of littered out throughout here. Well, it's got some autographed comics sitting in the back. Got my little anniversary coin. There's Shin, which I still actually enjoy that figure. Down here are some of the Marmots and Imperials and a couple of random bootleg figures that I have. All right, next to the couch is a lot of the 2014 and 98 Godzilla figures, with a lot of those being the Trend Masters. This uh, kind of lit her out. That one's actually the Toy Wiz animatronic one. And some of the 2014 Godzillas with the giant Jax Pacific one. Then finally up here is just a lot more random kaiju figures with, uh, I forget who actually makes you, but you actually go in the dark. Got a Bullmark, the Vampire Robot Burning Godzilla, G Fantas. Some of the uh, Treadmaster large scale figures because they do not uh, fit down there. Some more prints in the back and some posters that you got from going to see the movie. If you're walking around, that is uh, Mr. Tinkers is on adventures. Got the Godzilla board game chilling there in the back. The Treadmaster carrying case for 98 Godzilla. Some of the Funko Pops. And then my little model that I got first place with a long time ago. God, that was like uh, middle school I did that one. Then some of my King Kong figures. But some from the new one, the McFarlane. I got an Imperial in the back. The Godzilla cup holder with the little body knocker. And some of the new ones with... Where did that come from? I'm pretty sure I left him at the other house. Oh crap. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for my little collection tour. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I gotta ask Arnaz if maybe he was joking around. I know he's trying to get a new Woody. Still creepy though. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I just don't know where that Woody could have come from because I left him at the house. Where could he be hiding? Because we unpacked everything and... Because that ain't creepy.